welcome back. Part two, I guess, of trying to get this car tuned. If you've seen the first video, I didn't really go into too much detail, but basically when I reflashed it, it got stuck on a particular screen. After about 12 minutes, I finally turned off the car, and when I went to go turn the car back on, the car wouldn't start, fuel pump wouldn't kick on, and uh, the car was basically silent. The ECU was dead. I messaged Bobby. Can't tell him what's going on. He said he thinks it's an issue with the CAN wires, which is probably correct because if you look at my CAN install video, uh, those connectors aren't very good behind the dash. And so I think that's where my issue is. And I didn't wrap the wires on the CAN wires, even though I don't think that's part of the issue, but I'm gonna fix that as well. As far as the ECU being bricked, he told me to disconnect the battery. So I did that and I went to the upper website and they also said the same thing. Disconnect the battery, waited a little while, uh, reconnected the battery. I guess the ECU had reset. I turned the car on and now my fuel pump's working and everything seems like it's running fine. Except now I get a CAN communication error where I can't upload the tune. Luckily this time I was able to recover the ECU without having to send it out. Yeah, this video we're going to try it again. First thing we're going to do is fix my wiring fuck up. Also, quick update. Um, I got the wing in for the Mustang, so that's got to go on um, soon, hopefully. We'll get that mounted up um, on a future video and then uh, send it off to get painted and that should be good. Yay. So I got this piece off. Now we got gauge cluster. Gauge cluster's out. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to redo both these wires. All right, so I may have it fixed, kind of. Don't know. So I don't have everything fully in yet, but I got the everything connected. And plug this in. Let's see what happens. Searching for ECU, so turn it back on. Oh no. I guess I gotta disconnect the battery again. Uh, fuel pump's not turning on, so gotta do an ECU reset. Again. All right, so I just got the battery reconnected and I hear the fuel pump, so that's good. All right, ECU ready. It's a flash tune file. About three minutes this time. All right, um, I'm redoing the can wires. I'm doing it some ghetto ass shit way. So I just got a butt connector there and I had to run a... I was just having trouble getting everything fitted nicely. If this harness was not in the car, it would be a lot easier. I'll be able to just kind of plug these in. Um, of course, I'm not going to leave them exposed. I have um, heat shrink wrap that's going to go over the both the butt connectors and those connectors. There we go. Hopefully that'll work. We'll see. All right, so I'm still getting can line up detected. I am going to check the wiring on the OBD2 plug, so this panel's gotta come off. I think I found my issue. I pushed the pin down to lock it in place for the blue one that was not right there. Before I put everything back together, I hooked up the cord, felt to turn on the car, and we we're gonna try and flash it again and see what happens. Hope for the best. Fuel pumps on. I had to reset the ECU again by taking off the battery. ECU ready, let's see. Okay, so I resorted to uh, updating the software. We'll see if that does anything because I redid the wires up there. I fixed the loose wire there. I was probably still making connection and I'm still getting the same error or same uploading to stub thing. Let's see what happens. Woohoo, it's up to date. Let's try it again. All right, searching for ECU, ECU ready. Hmm. So the car runs. I just can't get the tune on. All right, so when I looked at the one side, uh, show a picture, I noticed the pin wasn't showing all the way through, so I had to go and try and re-push it through. And what I'm afraid of, what could be happening is it's not locking properly in place, and when I put this uh, cord on, it's actually pushing it back. All right, so there was a couple more attempts that I did in uh, showcase. I think we finally got that sorted out. Uh, this is my ninth time trying to get this thing to flash, and pretty much every single time, I've had to reset the ECU by disconnecting the power. Fingers crossed, let's see what happens. Uh, this is going good so far. Woohoo! The vehicle's been officially hot sauced! I think. Please turn vehicle on. Vehicle is on. So I turn it off and then turn it back on. All right, um, let's see if this thing will start. Thank <laughs> you. 